A family business at the top of Portland's Munjoy Hill is being recognized today for providing decades of service. Yeah, looking at some live pictures from there now, Vanjie Donatelli was an immigrant who ran a tailor shop for 50 years. Now the area right in front of the shop is being renamed. The area on Congress Street between North and Lafayette will now be known as Donatelli Square. There is a ceremony marking that change this afternoon. Now Donatelli died in 2018. Now his son runs the business. But in the spirit of the day, we want to look back at his life. Here's Rob Caldwell with a story from 2012. If you really want to get a feel for the sense of place that defines Portland and makes it special, then sooner or later you have to go to Munjoy Hill. And if you do, then you might notice an unassuming building on the top of the hill with a tailor shop inside. Vanjie Donatelli, who immigrated to the U.S. in the 1960s, comes into the shop nearly every day and goes to work. When Vanjie Donatelli arrived in Maine, he knew his trade and went to work immediately, even though he spoke no English. You can talk, you can say nothing, the guy tried to explain, because I used to work with a guy come from Denmark, and he tried to talk in Denmark, I can't understand nothing anyway, but it was, was hard. Now, if you're thinking, wait a minute, this video looks a little off, you're right. This was Vanjie Donatelli in 1986. And this is Vanjie Donatelli today. Still coming to work almost every day, still practicing the trade he began to learn in Italy when he was just 10 years old. The skills that you learned when you were young and starting out in this business, where do you go to learn those now? That's a, I wish you can tell me. <laughs> and you know, find no way. Because number one, I think today they need to, they want to be paid. A little background on this story. I did a profile of Mr. Donatelli 25 years ago on the 100th anniversary of the Statue of Liberty. This year, he'll hit a milestone of his own. 40 years since he opened this tailor shop. 1972, and I'm still here. <laughs> I, I don't move. I like it up here, I mean, I, and I like what I'm doing. Mr. Donatelli works alongside his family, a daughter and two sons, including his oldest, Faustino, who follows the example set by his father and is usually in the shop 60 hours a week or more. It's a family business. There's no employees. Um, that's it. That's it's it's us, and uh, if we can make you happy, that's that's the greatest gift. I, that's that's the best thing I can do. And there are Vanjie's friends who come by the shop every day for laughs, conversation, good company. I'm down here for coffee every day. I come down in the afternoon before I you know close up, and I mean this is where we hang out. This is where we go. The morning would be just coffee, and the afternoon would be coffee with sambuca. Okay. Styles change, fashions come and go. But no matter what they're wearing, people still need pants shortened and jackets taken in. They still need a tailor. And after four decades, Donatelli's is an institution. A lot of people will move away. When they come back to visit, they'll bring all their clothes. And they're like, I get, wherever I go, I just don't have what you know. You know what to do. You know my body. You know me and uh, they'll bring all their stuff back. So what does the future hold? Well, when you like what you're doing, why stop? I'm a worker because it's my kids that's here. I mean, if they know I was here, uh, myself, I was a retired clothes and leave. I'm 74 years old. <laughs> Mr. Donatelli says, if I come back and do another story on him in 25 years, he might be here. I believe him. And you can bet Faustino will be here. I got a kitchen downstairs, I got a shower downstairs, I, I'm gonna be here forever. <laughs> I love it. And then there's another generation. How proud do you think Mr. Donatelli would be if his grandson carried on the family business? We're almost due for the follow-up to the follow-up. Yes, Rob Caldwell with a story from 2012. And this isn't the first time Vanjie Donatelli has gotten official recognition from the city of Portland. In 2018, he was presented with a key to the city. And while he died in 2022, his legacy definitely lives on. When you go there, they make you feel like a million bucks. It makes you really feel like good. home. And yeah. uh, I think anytime you can say you love what you do, that's the gift. Absolutely.